couple things. One is um, kind of weird, but it's uh, it's a, an old gentleman's coin purse, right? It, it does, it's missing the, the thing that would keep it closed, but it's beaded. It's kind of decorative. And what's interesting is someone just gave me this as a gift last week at our bicentennial banquet. So um, and and uh, it was my friend Amy's mother. She gave it to me as a gift and. Uh, she did it because on it, it says Dr. John Meckley, so it's my name, Milton, Pennsylvania, um, February 1833. So it was uh, a doctor with having to have my name that lived in town um, in the early 1800s. And then this one is um, a badge from uh, my grandpa. So he worked at uh, Chef Boyardee's. This was his ID badge when he was an employee. So this was probably during World War II they had to wear these kind of badges. Oh. And then this one is um, it's a tape measure, but it has a picture of my grandmother on it. So she was born in 1922, and back then they would commemorate births with different kinds of gifts. And mm -hmm. this someone must have been a, a seamstress because it's a tape measure that you would use for sewing, and they put my grandma's picture on it. And then this last thing is just kind of for fun. This is, believe it or not, is a hat pin. So this was my great grandma's hat pin. So they. She's sticking her hat to keep the hat on her. You know, it's right? Dangerous. It'd be awful, right? It goes through the hat and in your hair to keep it in place. Like. I'm, it's pretty sharp, I don't know. <laughs> it's really important to preserve, because these are all just stories, right? It's just stories about mm -hmm. people's families and who they were, but um, you know, they all ties together to be a part of our community. So That's I wanted cool, to, yeah. to bring something that um, uh, to participate. I was born and grew up here. Um, my, uh, my grandfather's family, they were here for a very long time. So uh, yeah, wow. so <laughs> lots, of, lots of deep roots in town. Mm -hmm. I imagine a lot of the people you interview today will say similar things. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this kind of thing, you know, reflects. Um, you know, it's 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 a decorative piece, but it, it shows that um, you know Milton uh, at the time it was just still a very young community in 1833, but um, it was certainly successful. It boasted a lot of businesses downtown, and and you know certainly had doctors and and. Uh, other professionals here, so it was a thriving community by the time this was made in 1833. Um, my grandpa's ID badge, this is like one of the you know, most iconic things in town is the Chef Boyardee plant, like the real Chef Boyardee. He actually lived just a couple doors this way. Oh wow! Yeah, and um, yeah, he was, he was from Italy and um, um, you know worked in different restaurants in New York and um, Cincinnati or Columbus I think and he wanted to he came up with this idea, his first guy to ever do it, that uh, everyone loved his spaghetti so much that he would package it um, to, uh, for his customers mm -hmm. in the restaurant. He'd give them the right kind of um, pasta and the right kind of sauce and the right kind of cheese and he'd package it together and give it to them and someone said, well, you should do that, like, big scale. Because yeah. um, believe it or not, back then, like, uh, Italian food was considered ethnic food, right? Like, okay. most Americans did not eat it and it was, it was kind of a novelty and it was, so it was, it took off and, he needed his plants somewhere where they could grow lots of tomatoes for a sauce, and we grew lots of tomatoes here. So, yep. <laughs>